we got to ban fracking. We got to get a vote on that ban fracking bill. We're demanding that Silver vote on it, and we demand that Cuomo come off the fence. We're afraid that he's going to, you know, stay on the fence through this election. If he wins, he's going to then start looking to run to president, and he's going to join the national democratic consensus that's pro-fracking. And we're going to get fracking in New York. Firefighters trying to keep up with the flames. Sky 4 flying at a safe distance. Why didn't we know about the contaminated water in Texas or in Colorado or even in Louisiana? Why didn't we know in Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh is three years ahead of us in our own state. And we weren't even allowed to know that the contamination was taking place when I was signing a lease and being lied to. We want him on the record. We want the legislature on the record, and we want Cuomo to take a position on that bill before the election. Afterwards, it's going to be probably too late, or we won't have the leverage we have now. And besides not building new uh, fossil fuel infrastructure, which will commit us for decades to whatever we build, gas pipelines, gas power plants, as well as fracking. We looked out the window, and the field was full of construction equipment. And I said, oh, this is not good. And uh, next thing you know, in the course of three weeks, they had it all dug up, the field all tore up, a road put in there, it was never there before. And they were never approached and told anything was coming in. And we come to find out it's a gas processing plant. And besides not building new uh, fossil fuel infrastructure, which will commit us for decades to whatever we build, gas pipelines, gas power plants, as well as fracking. Accidents keep happening, like this well explosion, due to machine malfunctions. Well, it's kind of like this. We didn't sign a lease, so why do we have to bear the cost of being up at night with lights shining in our house and endless noise traffic and air, um, air pollutants that are showing up that are in an unhealthy range and our water being contaminated? That's not the America where, where people have rights that are inalienable and, and cannot be just stopped and trampled upon by peoples of power and great money and who donate $2 million to the governor to run. And it's shameful. The gas companies, they'll give to the ambulance, the fire and everything, but will they, will they restore our water here, contaminated water on the, on the farm? They haven't even offered it. What's missing is the political will. The Democrats and Republicans have repeatedly failed to deal with our energy crisis since Nixon. It's time to get new leadership so we can get this thing done because we're running out of time with this climate crisis that's coming down on us. Whoa, Jesus. Gas and oil companies can come in and, and go under your land because Ohio is a pooled state and take your gas and then give you money which you've never asked for as kind of compensation, put it in some kind of trust for you or something, to me is an invasion of my constitutional rights to own what I bought. We want to ban it. We don't want any more new fossil fuel infrastructure. We want to commit to 100% clean energy by 2030. In 2010, I was alone pretty much in calling for a ban on fracking. Most of the environmental movement was either for natural gas as a bridge fuel, they were pro-fracking, or they said we need to study it. But over the course of my campaign, you know, the anti-fracking movement was growing. We got the demand from them. They were grassroots greens in the southern tier. And by soon after the campaign, suddenly there were funded groups calling for a ban on fracking. And they've been out there canvassing. And, you know, we've held off the biggest investors from China to Saudi Arabia to Mo Exxon Mobil here in the United States who want to push this. But what we want this year is we want Sheldon Silver to put the ban fracking legislation to a vote. We want Cuomo to take a position. We're afraid he's going to sit on the fence and after, if he gets reelected for governor, he's going to run for president, join the national consensus in the Democratic Party that's pro-fracking, and we're going to get fracking in New York. So, you know, we're going to push hard to get some, at least people on the record before the election.